Oh my goodness, I can feel that nice breeze blowing my hair, rustling the wind. Bandit, to you? Hi, it's time for another bedtime with Bandit. And we're outside on this blustery little afternoon where we keep feeling the wind blowing. And as I think about the wind, I think about how it is when the air is still and I cannot see the air. I don't even know it's there other than the fact that I'm breathing air in and out of my lungs. I don't feel it. But sometimes I can see a pinwheel move or I can see a fan move and that lets me know that there's air moving. I might even see my hair blowing or I might see the leaves or the branches of the trees blowing around me. There's lots of ways to see the air and to feel the air as we feel it against our skin and, and our faces. I'm thinking about a story and the story is about Twitch and the invisible wind. And Twitch not only learns about the wind, but he learns about God and how even when we can't see God, that we can know that God is there. We can feel God's presence. We can see the Holy Spirit in action in our, in our lives and in the lives of others. And that is one of the ways that we know that God is always there. So let's say a prayer, but before we do, let's take a deep breath in. Take all that air in. You can feel it filling your lungs and then blow it out. As we calm our bodies and prepare to pray. Dear God, I thank you. I thank you for always letting us know that you are there. You are in the wind blowing by. You are in the very stillness of the air that we breathe. God, help us to see your love in action and let us see all the ways you love and care through your Holy Spirit's actions in our lives and in the lives of others. Amen. Well, I think the wind has blown in our story for tonight. So, let's hear it. Twitch and the Invisible Wind, an Allegories Tale Created by Thomas and Julie Boto Illustrated by Andrea Verns Twitch was a wild and wacky owl. He liked to run fast and fly high. There was just one problem. Twitch had a bad crash, and now he was afraid to fly. All his owl friends could fly. They zoomed up and down. They did flips and loops. Twitch wanted to fly again more than anything. But Twitch was worried he might crash again. Twitch's friend Nora saw his sad face. What's wrong, Twitch, she asked. Twitch muttered. Oh, said Nora, you're scared. That's okay, Twitch. I used to be afraid to fly too. But God made us with wings that are just right for flying, Nora explained. Twitch nodded, but he still didn't try to fly. When we flap our wings, Nora said, the air lifts us up. Twitch nodded, but he still didn't try to fly. When we're up in the sky, the wind currents help us soar, Nora called. Just, just spread your wings and let the wind do all the work. Twitch nodded, but he still didn't try to fly. Are you worried, Twitch? Nora asked. Twitch twittered. He squawked and screeched and skittered. I understand, Twitch, said Nora. You're not sure how to trust the wind when you can't see it. Eek! Twitch squeaked. Maybe I can help, said Nora. Even though you can't see the wind, you still know it's there, Nora said. Look at those trees, Twitch. See how they're bending in the wind? Twitch looked at the trees. He'd never really noticed them sway before, but he still didn't try to fly. Look at those leaves on the ground. See how the wind is blowing them? Twitch looked at the leaves. He could see the wind making them flutter and float, 
But he still didn't try to fly. Nora looked at Twitch. You know, Twitch, sometimes I wonder if God is with me. Then I remember that even though I can't see God, I can see all the things God does. The wind reminds me of God. It's always there, even if I can't see it. Twitch thought about beautiful flowers that bloomed in the spring. He thought about his parents and how much they loved him. He thought about his friends and how kind they were to him. These were all good things God had given him. They helped him see God. Suddenly, Nora turned to Twitch with a bright look in her eyes. Twitch, look at your wings. Twitch looked down. His feathers were blowing in the breeze. The wind felt cool. The wind tickled. He could feel the wind. The wind was there. Come on, Twitch. You've got to try it, Nora said. Twitch stood. Twitch thought. Twitch closed his eyes and felt the wind ruffle his feathers. And then Twitch ran as fast as he could. He flapped his wings and closed his eyes. And the wind carried him right up to the sky.